Volterra, surrounded by the Valchechina countryside, has a surprisingly rich history. No matter where you're approaching it from, you'll immediately notice the Medici fortress dominating the territory, now a prison. Perched on a 555 meters high hill, Volterra offers a spectacular view of the typical Tuscan landscape with its multicolored cultivations. The castle, now called the Old Fortress, was built in 1343 and linked to the Etruscan walls, while the new fortress was ordered by Lorenzo il Magnifico in 1472 to reinforce the borders and better control the town. We can see some Etruscan remains in Porta dell'Arco, Volterra's most relevant Etruscan monument. The door is characterized by a stone arch, whose structure is embellished with three heads. Nearby is Piazza dei Priori, once the town's financial and institutional heart. Palazzo dei Priori is the oldest communal palace in Tuscany, dating back to 1257. The building has a pentagonal tower, whose top half was rebuilt after an earthquake in 1846. The facade is adorned with tree-lobed, doubled-arched windows and Della Robbia glazed terracotta coats of arms ordered by Florentine magistrates from the 15th and 16th century. Inside the palace, on the ground floor, the walls are decorated with Podestas and Commissari di Giustizia's coats of arms. Other buildings overlooking Piazza dei Priori are Bishop's Palace, Palazzo Pretorio, Palazzo Incontri and Palazzo del Monte Pio. Walking along the town's little streets and mews, we can reach the Buonparenti Tower House, linked to the Angelario Fortress by a high mensary arch. The building used to be the very heart of Borgo Santa Maria, the starting point of Volterra's urban expansion during the Comune era. Volterra's dome was built in 1120 on the site of a pre-existing church dedicated to Holy Mary. The six altars in Montecatini stone date back to the early 16th century and present a big coffered arch decorated with sculptured friezes and coats of arms. It lays on a classical trebiation and on two fluted columns whose capitals are embellished with acanthi leaves and volutes. The bell tower, separated from the cathedral by the Virgin Mary Chapel, was rebuilt in 1493 after the collapse of the original tower as proved by the inscription at its foot. The baptistry dates back to the 13th century, although some architectural and decorative elements seem to suggest an earlier date. Octagonally shaped and surmounted by a dome, its facade is adorned with stripes of white and green marble and the main entrance suggests the work of an artist close to Nicola Pisano. The frieze framing the altar is by Mino da Fiesole and Alessandro Balsimelli from Settignano, while the wood panel above the altar, the Ascension, was painted by Nicolò Cercignani in 1591. The baptismal font is by Giovanni Vacca. In Volterra, it is possible to find evidences of every historical period, from the Etruscan to the Middle Ages and the Renaissance. Other important buildings are St. Michael Church, dating back to the 13th century, the Florentine Door, that used to be called Sant'Agnolo, and the nearby Roman theatre.